A great plan of action is not an easy thing to actually execute without asking some very important questions. The first is making sure after every practice and every game, we ask ourselves three of the most important questions we can ever ask ourselves, and we divide our answers to those questions based on the mental and the physical. Those three questions are, number one, how do you feel about today's performance? List everything mental, everything physical. Very broad question. Question two, if you could play the practice over, play the game over, what would you have done differently? List everything mental, everything physical. And just as important, question three, if you could play the practice over, play the game over, what would you have done the same? List everything mental, everything physical. Now, out of these three questions, one of the most beautiful words in all of sports emerges. Starts with a T. And it's called trend. Trend. Most athletes aren't aware of what they did well and what they didn't do so well in practice number one versus practice six versus practice 10 versus practice 17 and game four versus game seven versus game 12. They're unaware of those things. But actually taking the time to log these answers. At times it seems a little bit labor intensive or laborious or not much fun. But the results are fun in regards to being able to make important tweaks and corrections. The interesting thing about so many athletes in today's climate is there are some very, very motivated athletes out there in high school and collegiate ranks. But there are also so many athletes who don't really have a great sense of self-accountability and self-motivation. And this is a shame. So many of those athletes just sit back and they wait for coach to make or coaches to make a slight adjustment um, after a practice or after a game. And the coaching staff, when you really think about it, they have so many hats to wear in terms of individual skill development and designing and scouting, designing great offense and great defense and, and scouting the opposition. And the list goes on. There's hardly a program in America where the coaching staff has the time to sit down with every single player every single time and give a full, in-depth, comprehensive critique on everything that went right and wrong in that practice relative to the mental or the physical. There has to be, for an athlete who cares about his or her career and cares about his or her team and cares about being great under pressure, there has to be a level of self-driven accountability. And asking those three questions is a great start.